Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some beauty items I picked up recently from Urban Outfitters. I've been meaning to do a haul and check out the Urban Outfitters beauty section ever since they revamped it a couple years ago. They have a really good selection of natural products and Korean products and also some cult favorites. I placed an order online a couple weeks ago so I've had some time to test out these products before sharing with you. I know it's not quite summer yet, but there is kind of a beachy summer beauty theme going on here with lots of coconut and aloe products, so let's get into it. The first item that spoke to me was the Mermaid Hair Shine Spray. I've had my eye on the Mermaid Hair line for a couple years now, mostly because of the packaging, but they have a shampoo and a conditioner that are $35 each and I wasn't sure I wanted to invest that much without knowing how it smelled and if I really liked the product. So I picked up this shine spray, which retails for $28. Still kind of expensive, but at least you only have to buy the one product. The ingredient list is super short and contains natural ingredients. Water, aloe, seaweed, kelp, algae, jojoba oil, 100% essential oil, and vegetable glycerin. Although I think it sounds too good to be true because this scent is a, it's a light orange blossom and coconut scent, which is really nice, but there is no such thing as coconut essential oil and this doesn't contain coconut oil. So I think the only way to get coconut scent like this is through a synthetic fragrance. So I'm not sure what they have going on here as far as the labeling of the fragrances, but I do know that I like the product. It doesn't give my hair super shine or anything, but it smells really nice and it keeps it soft. The next product I picked up is the Lonnie Beach Tropical Hair Treatment, which is tropical, natural, and vegan. This little guy is a blend of natural oils that's supposed to help protect your hair from the elements at the beach and also from chlorine if you're swimming in a pool. It has many uses. I've been using it so far as a hair treatment where I'll put a bunch in my hair, leave it in for a couple hours, and then shampoo it out, and my hair has been really soft after doing that. I also will take just a little bit, if my ends are kind of dry, just a couple drops, rub it around on my hands, and apply it to the ends of my hair to keep things moisturized. But the main use that they recommend is applying it to your hair before you go to the beach or go swimming or get your hair wet basically and then it protects it from absorbing all the chemicals or salt in the water when you're swimming or at the beach. So I'm excited to use it for that application on my upcoming trip to the Caribbean and I will let you know if it is really effective at protecting your hair. The oil itself has a light coconut scent, and it does actually contain coconut oil, so I think that's where that comes from. And I really like how the bottle, the cap has this tiny little hole in the top, so you really only get a couple drops out, and that's pretty much all you need, so you don't end up dumping too much product into your hands. To keep with the hair theme, I also picked up the Herbivore Botanicals Sea Mist Lavender and Sea Salt Beach Wave Hair Mist. So if you are a person that doesn't like the really sweet coconut scents, like the mermaid hairspray scent, then this one might be for you. This is a texturizing spray, but it also contains aloe and lavender oil. So it has a nice, it's a more light fragrance, um, definitely more natural smelling and gives your hair a little bit of texture, but it doesn't leave it too crispy like some salt sprays can. This one contains lavender oil and clary sage oil, which I think are 100% essential oils, and it's also not tested on animals. I'm a big fan of the Herbivore Botanics line in general. A lot of their stuff is very natural, it doesn't contain chemicals, and is non-toxic. Also doesn't contain petroleum or mineral oil, which is important to me. Um, the next item is a collab between Urban Herbivore and Urban Outfitters. It's the Sun Oil Coconut and Aloe After Sun Body Oil. It's meant to be used on your skin after sun exposure, but I don't intend on saving it just for that use specifically. It's a blend of oils and aloe, has lavender oil in it and vitamin E. 
So lavender oil is really good for helping inflammation on the skin. So if you've been sunburned, then lavender oil will help soothe the burn. And then the aloe and coconut in the oil will also help to moisturize the skin. This oil makes my skin feel super moisturized and soft, but not as greasy as if I applied straight up coconut oil to my skin. This next item is something I keep on my desk at all times. It's the Hand Chemistry Hyaluronic Concentrate for hands and body. So this is a gel for your hands and body that has a high content of hyaluronic acid, which helps to draw moisture and retain water in your skin to keep it from drying out. But it doesn't contain any oils or leave your skin greasy. So I do get dry hands pretty often and I'm often applying hand creams, but I don't like how they leave smudges all over my computer and keyboard and phone and iPad and everything. So this is a nice alternative to classic hand creams that can be kind of heavy and greasy and it doesn't leave fingerprints on all of your devices. I haven't used this much on my body, but if you're someone that likes to avoid heavy creams on your body, this absorbs super quickly, so it might be good for you. I also ordered this Cogendo Cleansing Spa Water, which is like a micellar water. I haven't found much difference between this and my other micellar waters that I prefer, so I'm not sure I'll repurchase this because it is a little more expensive than, say, the simple cleansing water. But it's supposed to contain flower extracts and plant extracts, so that's something that makes it a little different from the other products. But once it's actually on my skin, I don't seem to notice a difference, so not sure I'll be repurchasing this, repurchasing this. but it is going to be handy for traveling. It's a good size. Lastly, I picked up a couple hair accessories. This is a small jar of bobby pins. It comes with a couple colors, black, white, and silver. Pretty basic, but it's always good to have some bobby pins in your purse, which is where I keep these. And I like the white color. You don't see white a lot in bobby pins. It's the one I have in my hair today. And yeah, just kind of a handy little thing. And they're a little sturdier than your average cheapo CVS bobby pins. So that's nice. And the last item I picked up is this gold comb, which is supposed to fit in your wallet or purse. Um, pretty handy, pretty cool. I don't really brush my hair on the go that often, but just in case I will have this. Or I can bring it to the beach to comb my lawny hair oil into my hair before I go swimming. So here, that's another purpose for the old golden gold comb. <laughs> And I saw someone over the weekend at Coachella, or at Neon Carnival actually, this guy with kind of a short fro, had one of these just stuck in his hair as a pick. So it's a pretty cool accessory too, if you've got that kind of hair. And yeah, I think that's just about it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Leave below in the comments any other items that I should try from Urban Outfitters. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.